hi there you see this gown right here let me show you the best way that you're going to make this gown if you like it so you're going to get your fabric like this and my own fabric here i made use of an ankara fabric and this ankara fabric that you're seeing here this is um two yards of ankara plus 25 inches and the length of this my fabric is by 45 it's not even by 60 so it's not even that long so you see my fabric is not even up to three yards so this is how you're going to do it you're going to fold your fabric into two then you're going to fold it again into four and you're still going to fold it again okay that will not make it eight okay so once you fold it like that now you're going to mark it from the that from the down part okay you're going to mark it up with now you're going to be marking um six inches at that point so once you mark that six inches out you're going to draw a line and then connect it together and then you're going to cut it out and then pick that particular part take it over to the other side okay because you are still going to be working with this um, english um lining here on the this other down part so once you take it to the other side you place it on top of the fabric and then you cut it out exactly six inches just like how you cut the first one okay. so you're going to put this one aside so right now what you're going to be doing is to open the other one up so have it in mind we are not going to open everything so once you open it up we are still going to fold it into two okay it's still going to remain in the the two fold the knots up to four so what you're seeing right now is just the double fold so the next thing we're going to cut out is the front part of that style so remember this other tutorial that we did some time ago on tiktok and also on my youtube channel if you have not, have not seen it it's on my channel so this uh, particular tutorial we took a measuring from the center of the bust over the high point of the bust towards the armhole so my own was 10 inches so with that 10 inches now i'm going to be adding 3 inches to that 10 that will not give me 13 inches so now i'm just going to go ahead and mark that 13 inches out here now so the next thing i'm going to do is to move out and then mark half inch outwards okay so right now you're going to mark again under your 13 inches line then you fold your tape into two and then mark it at that center that is for now make it the center point for you to mark out your dart so on this other tutorial now you're going to mark from the center points of your bust down to the under bust plus two inches so mine is four plus two which will now give me six okay so i'm just going to mark out that six inches now and then i'm going to connect that line and then draw it together so i have to use a pencil so you guys can see it very well because before i was using chalk and you guys would not really see it so at this point now i'm just going to mark one inch on either side of that particular line okay then i'm just going to draw a line and then connect them together so that will now form our dart the next thing you're going to do now is to fold this other part of the fabric down to that 13 inches line that i drew okay so take note of this half inch line that is out here so from that point now you're going to mark five inch or five inches upwards and then you're going to connect that new new point now to the old line that was downwards so now you're going to be cutting it down just check out how i'm cutting this very slowly and carefully okay so you can cut out that half inch properly then you're just going to go ahead and then cut this one out directly to the top part depending on how long you want yours to be so after cutting this one out now what you're going to do is to just open it up like this so remember this half inch line is still here so be sure that yours still has it so once you open it up like this the next thing is for you for you to do is for you to go ahead and cut out your this that point okay so once you're done with this now I'm just going to go ahead and then we trim this part because I don't want it to be too large on top, okay? So you can also do that. So after that, I'm just going to slide this place like this just to have this shape. So now we are going to be cutting out the back piece. So remember the 10 inches that we used in front that we added um, 2 inches to? So for the back, we are going to subtract 2 inches to half it. And we are going to mark that 8 inches out. Now from that 8 point, we are going to be marking inwards half inches. So after marking that half inch, what you're going to do is to fold this other side of the fabric on top of that half inch that you just drew. Meanwhile, the other line will now turn to the half inch that we had on the front part, okay, the half inch outwards. So you're just going to mark your five inches upwards. Then you're just going to connect the line together and then we'll cut it out. So once you're done cutting it out, your back piece is ready. So right now, this back piece now, we're not going to be adding any darts to it to this. So that's why you've not seen me adding any darts to it. So once you're done, you open this up like this. This is how your back piece is supposed to look like, okay? So this is the center front, while this other part is the side. So it's applicable for both the front and also the back piece. The next thing is for us to cut out our band. 
so i'm going to i'm going to measure my waistline and my waist measurement is 29 inches so with that 29 inches now i'm going to be adding two inches to it and i'm going to just mark that out okay so at this point now after cutting it out and i'm going to just go ahead and open this what i have here is 31 inches by 4.5 inches okay so that's what i have here right now so moving on to the waistline this is the only thing i have left okay and this is the length of the fabric so right now this is the part i'm going to be inserting um gathers but right now it is not enough because it's very much little so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to fold the other ending part on top of this other area okay so guys my camera went off so right now i'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys what i was doing before so this is what i was trying to explain i'll fold this over like this huh? and then i'm going to turn this over like this other side and then i'm going to go ahead and then cut this other part open so that once i cut it um, open like this I will have two different parts okay so on that two different parts now this is the this is one of the one of the parts that i have already and this is the other one so what i want what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and then join this other side to this other point so that once i turn it over is to look very long and i'll be able to insert my gathers on the west line so that's what i'm going to be doing so just in case you're wondering the length the length i'm going to be using right now or the length i'm having right now is 16.5 inches so that's the length i'm having right now so the next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and then hold this place like this okay the that point then i'm going to sew it down i'm also going to do the same thing also to the lining i'll just place them like this and then i'm going to sew it down then i'm going to sew all around this point okay i'm also going to do the same thing also to the back also at the same time so i also sew all around this but i'm going to be leaving out this half inch point here that we marked and the same thing also applies to the front so i'm just going to sew this on my, on my machine and i want to just show you how i'm doing this so i'm going to fold it over like this and at this point i'm going to be sewing it down with half inch but this half inch i noticed that it wasn't really enough okay so what you're going to be doing if you're sewing this you should sew this down with 1.5 inch is it really going to bring everything in i mean except you want to make use of except you want to add a little bit of gathers to the front okay then you can definitely sew it with this half inch so that once you're joining it down with your waistband you can add your half sorry your um small gathers on it so that it can be able to come out well but if you're sewing it straight use 1.5 inch the next thing is to place your lining on top of that uh, the main fabric why i'm doing this is because so that you will not make mistake while holding the dart okay so you can know which side is supposed to face the front and which is supposed to face the back so that you not end up losing it in it up again and then starting all over so just place it on top of it like this and then just check and be sure that the front part is facing where it's supposed to be and also in very importantly the half inch um, area that we left out is actually aligned with the half inch on the main fabric okay so just go ahead and sew it down Once you're done, turn them right side out and then iron them down. Then I'm going to be going ahead to slice up my waistband and then I'm going to fold this inside like um, a bias step, you know, just half inch in from top and also half inch in below. So this is what I'm going to be using on the waistline. At this point, I'm trying to join the two different sides of the skirt together so that i can insert my gathers. i'm also going to join this one then i will also insert gathers on this one too so currently i'm inserting gathers on the skirt's waistline and i'm also going to go ahead and then insert gathers on the um the other part the six inches one that we marked out i'm also going to insert gathers on that also so this is me pulling the gathers on the waistline for the main skirt and i also do the same thing for the down part so before inserting the down part on the skirt um, hem, just go ahead and measure around that area so that you know how to insert your gathers on the other part. That's this other smaller one now. So you know how to insert your gathers on this one so that it should be enough for it to go around. The next thing you're going to do is to place this other smaller one that you just finished inserting gathers like this. Then bring in the lower parts of the main skirt and then place it on top of it like this as in right side facing each other. Then you just go ahead and then sew it down all the way around. Mm -hmm. 
So for the waistband, open the part like this. Remember we ironed it down like a bias tape. So you need to open that half inch out and then you bring in the waist of the main skirt and then place it right side facing each other like this and then you pin it down using your needle rod. Then what's again, the next thing I'm going to do is to bring in the other half. Also right side facing this other area and then you're going to open it up okay open up the half inch that we ironed down and then you're going to attach them together like this such that the main skirt is in between the two bands okay in between the two halves of the band then you go just go ahead and then sew it down using that half inch The next thing you're going to do after sewing it down is for you to fold it over like this and then divide your waist measurements by two and then from there you're going to measure it from the uh, beginning part okay the folded area and then you mark it down towards the side and then you mark that down because this is that is where your zip zipper is going to start exactly that point that you just marked down the next thing is to pick the center and then mark the center down like this with a chalk and then also mark the same thing on the opposite side because this is where we are going to be attaching our top area from. We are going to start from this point. The next thing, bring the front and the back piece together and then sew it down on that half inch that we left outward, okay? So you remember the two inches that we added after marking from our nipple point to the underboss and then we added two inches. So let's have found out that that two inches was a bit longer than what I was expecting. So I actually went ahead to cut out one inch from this, okay? So if you're using this same um, measurements, just remove one inch or better still before you even cut it out. Use one inch to cut it out instead of using the two inches that I said earlier. So I'm going to be cutting it out for only the front pieces and not the back. So here's what you're going to do. In inserting the front into the waistband, uh, what you're going to do now is to make sure that the beginning part of the front um, top aligns with that chalk that we marked out. Okay, that's the center of the skirt. Then you're going to start from there to, uh, to attach it down to the side. Meaning that you're going to put one inch inwards. Okay, that's the remaining one inch that was left you're going to put it inwards inside the band and then you're going to pin them in so that you can start from this other area okay that's towards the, the zipper area you're going to start from the zipper area and then you're going to sew it down to that area and then you're going to insert the other one just also at the center and then you're going to sew them down to the other end of the zipper part the next thing is for us to insert our zip so I'm going to place it here and then I'm going to be measuring from that, um, the waist point down to where the zip stops, okay? So that's where I'm going to start, just one inch above where the zip stops is where I'm going to start sewing it down, just to close up the back space, okay? And then we are going to flip this over and then we are going to fold it in, as in fold it in and then it's going to complete the waist area, just going to take out every excess on the waist area so that you'll be able to have the proper V at the back okay without it showing that there was any zip attached to it the next thing is for you to go ahead and then fold the hemline okay just one just half inch inwards this is why i wanted to make use of this english trimming so once you just fold it in like this you just sew it down you don't need to fold it double just fold it once and then you sew it all the way around and once you once you're done go ahead and then iron this out and once you're done just wear it and then tie the um the shoulder area just like this anyhow you want to tie it just make it a little bit tight on you so they can be very comfortable so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video please share this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section what do you think about this style isn't it beautiful <laughs> all right guys so that is it please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and also give me a thumbs up on this video and i will see you on my next one bye guys